Hi, I'm Joe Hildreth and welcome to My Heat. So I thought I would give an update video. It's been a couple weeks since I released one and uh, just didn't want you guys to think that I had fallen off the planet but I've been really, really quite busy. Um, I've uh, had a new roof put on my house. It was uh, getting getting due. I've actually developed a leak so I had that done and, and uh, while I was at it, had a new roof put on my shop. I'll show you a little video of that here in a little while. Uh, also, uh, had a unit installed, a Mitsubishi uh, uh, HVAC unit installed in my shop so that uh, I can work comfortably out there in winter or summer. If you're familiar with Tennessee, it's hot and humid uh, as can be in the uh, summertime and the winter. Well, you know, I just, I'm, I'm old, I guess. You know, I just don't want to get cold. So anyway, um, I'll show you some uh, photos of that. And then, of course, uh, I've been uh, trying to get insulation and wall covering and stuff like that in my shop. But like I, I've said over and over, you know, my shop is so cram full of junk that you got to move everything out of your way to get a little bit of work done. So hopefully, um, as time goes by, I can get that and, and slowly maybe move Berth out there and get some shelving and some stuff like that to get it organized. Because right now, it's just everything is just piled. And uh, against my better judgment, I will uh, show you. <laughs> but I'm warning you, if you're uh, you got a weak stomach for mess, you may not want to watch. But so that's my disclaimer. So in the interim, um, I have uh, been working on some stuff for uh, the YouTube shop uh, student project, uh, our series of videos. Uh, I got another uh, video that I want to do for the Atlas uh, lathe series, so we'll start with that one. I've ordered and I've received um, reamers. Now I bought uh, number two Morse taper uh, for the, for the tailstock, and these uh, are Chinese, but they actually are uh, quite nice so you know it's, it's always a gamble when you're buying Chinese I got a finish and a roughing reamer uh, you guys have seen those so there's no sense to uh, uh, drone on and on about those but I will uh, uh, clean up the uh, tapers in the uh, in the lathe uh, the tailstock taper with these here just to just to brush out any any small burrs or imperfections I'm not really trying to cut a tape or anything like that just want to be able to clean it make the uh, hopefully maybe make the uh, tail stock um, and just a little bit more accurate. Now when I said that uh, buying stuff Chinese is a gamble, um, here are a number three Morse taper roughing and finish reamer. So this is the finish reamer and um, it's uh, full of crud, uh, packing grease, and looks like some surface rust. So you know, uh, th that is, uh, that's one of the uh, drawbacks you know ordering Chinese you never know what you're gonna get these weren't that expensive so I'm not out much if uh, but now I will say that they, it is does feel quite sharp so again I'll use these here on the headstock just to clean out any any uh, uh, light burrs or anything like that again not to cut uh, but wanted to uh, wanted to talk about that so that will be in the uh, the uh, Atlas 10F series uh, when I get around to that uh, in addition, uh, in the future, you know, I've, I showed some uh, plastic gears that I uh, had made in the past. I'm gonna want to try those and see if we can get them to hold up. I got three different, uh, or with the same gear made out of three different types of plastic. So we'll we'll see what happens with that. So uh, let me uh, let me get some other stuff and I'll be right back. So a lot of you guys follow Mr. Pete, and you know, Mr. Pete showed this uh, plastic printed uh, indicator holder, and uh, I asked my son Zachary, who's uh, recording for me today by the way thank you Zachary say hi Zach <laughs> he ain't going to uh, anyway he uh, printed out one of the AXA indicator holders for me I just need to um, order a uh, the indicator for it I think it's the, the charge number they give so I'm going to do that and uh, I think I'll order two and uh, print me out a second one so anyway just want to show you that all right so the uh, next YouTube uh, shop student video I kept asking folks, hey, what do you think I'd do next? Because, you know, I'm a, I'm a ranked beginner, and, and uh, so I had a couple suggestions, and one, one somebody suggested that I do a captive nut puzzle. Now, yeah, I, I thought about that, and I thought, hey, that uh, would give me an opportunity to do some grooving, uh, some threading, um, some facing, turning to diameter, a whole lot of stuff. Uh, but I've been collecting uh, the stuff together for that, so I have bought uh, some 12L14. I bought this from... Um, Hobby, hobby kits, hobby metal kits online. Um, hey, you know what? For uh, living out in Podunk and trying to get this stuff, 
they uh, they flat they flat rate ship it. I bought this uh, 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 hobby kit size of 12L14 and some brass. Only paid ten dollars in shipping, so and the prices aren't aren't that bad. So I'm pretty happy with that. Uh, I also picked up some uh, thread wires so that I can uh, actually see if I'm making or try to make an accurate thread. Uh, now, additionally, I'm, this uh, YouTube shop student, I'm doing a little bit different, and it's taken me a little bit longer, and I'm not quite done with it, but I've uh, created a drawing for the Captive Nut Puzzle uh, that you'll be able to download if you want to do it. I've also uh, will have rendered a 3D um, assembly diagram uh, showing you know, uh, you know how it's assembled, and then I will also have a list of uh, order of operations, right? So if you're a new... If you're new to the hobby and you're just learning like me, maybe that'll help somebody out. So anyway, I just want to share that with you. So other than that, um, um, I think that's about uh, all I got for the updates. And let's uh, let's go outside and take a look at these roofs. So in, in addition to the other stuff, we've uh, had to put a roof on the house and the building. Uh, so it's a little overdue. But anyway, that's done. And uh, from here, I'll show you um, my uh, new air unit. All right, so a lot of people have asked about uh, my shop, and uh, my shop, you know, I tell everybody is like uh, one of those little kids' puzzles where you move the little things around, and I'll show you in just a minute, just for the uh, for the curious. But uh, another thing that I had done or I've been doing uh, since my last video is I had this unit installed. This is a Mitsubishi split unit, um, really kind of an interesting uh, unit. It uh, actually all runs off a of DC compressor and everything it has a 15 amp 220 breaker which is incredibly small unit only draws uh, I think 8.6 amps has uh, control wires that feed um, to the evaporator unit uh, will monitor the humidity in the air maintain uh, a certain humidity level auto heat auto cool and that sort of thing it's it's a heat pump so from here uh, let's go in and we'll take a look a uh, real quick look at the evaporator unit and then we'll I'll, uh, as much as I don't want to, I'm going to show you uh, the inside of my shop. Okay, so this is the uh, evaporator part of, of the unit. Um, right now it's just running in uh, dehumidify mode because uh, I don't have the entire shop uh, insulated or covered yet, so we're still working on that. And uh, But anyway, I just want to show you that. Very, very quiet. Even on the fan speed at its highest, uh, I think you can still hear yourself fart. Huh? Is that good? So, anyway, let me... Uh, Get in a position here where we can kind of show you around the shop. Well, welcome to my messy shop. Um, my shop is, uh, uh, I'm not a carpenter, but I built the shop and, and it's a long story. And if you're interested, I'll tell you. But suffice it to say that it's full of uh, junk and uh, some of my tools and that sort of thing. And I'm slowly uh, to the point where I'm trying to get it insulated and stuff where I can use it. My shop is uh, 20 by 24 feet sits on a full basement. Uh, the basement is 10 foot um, block wall and the uh, structure, the main structure here that we're standing in, this is a 10 foot tall ceiling uh, studded out with uh, two by sixes. Um, I have to thank uh, my son uh, Zach. He's, he's really done a lot to help uh, build this and, and everything else, but there's still a lot to do. As you can see, I got more materials here that I got to try to get in. And when you do something debt free guys, um, especially younger folks uh, it's hard to do so you know you save up a little money you do a little you save up a little money you do a little and that's kind of how it is uh, it's simply because I don't want a payment and more so I don't want to be paying interest on something that you know I really can't use until it's done so uh, patience is a virtue they say maybe so anyway um, I'm gonna have my son uh, take a couple pan shots around you can see actually how messy it is uh, you might be able to recognize my CNC buried under a bunch of stuff or my homemade bench or something um, around just you know you'll see so anyway um, let's take a few minutes and uh, let's let's do a panorama shot
All right, well, hey, I warned you that my shop was really messy, and hopefully that uh, um, we didn't make you sick with all the camera panning. And, and uh, if, you're, uh, if you're a neat freak uh, like my wife, you know, my wife won't even go out there. She, uh, she just kind of can't handle it. She's a little OCD, I think. Or Would that be CDO? Good question, right? Which reminds me, I got another question. Hey, well, if you, uh, if you face off the end of a bar, right, and it's square, would that be considered a 90-degree chamfer? Huh? Huh? Just wondering. But anyway, hey, look, uh, I, I just want to thank you for your continued uh, uh, patronage and, and support uh, by watching my videos and subscribing. If these videos have been helpful, please like, subscribe, share with your friends, and, uh, and uh, you know, thank you for watching. I'll, I'll close out this video here with uh, a couple shots of uh, close-up shots of these Raymers so that you can see them. So other than that, have a blessed day.